Hi everyone. So this is the FT891 and what I want to show you is I want to show you how to set it up so that you can take it out in the field. So the first thing is that uh, you have your wire here, um, your cable, and the cable starts off with, um, with no connection at all, just bare wire. And what I did was I place some power pole, Anderson power poles, which are very, very popular with ham radio. I used uh, PowerX, uh, this one's the 45 amp. Uh, these are the clips, the tongues that you need to use. There are many videos out there on YouTube. Um, and when I first did this, it wasn't really easy. You need to practice on some wire so you can get it right. Sure, it's not that cheap. But um, with practice, you'll, you'll be very comfortable. I also got the little boot for it. So it'll be easier to take off. Sometimes that's annoying. Uh, uh, to put these power pole, the Anderson power poles, you'll need something to crimp. Uh, these are from PowerRec. And you're going to need something to cut the wire. Uh, the wire was really easy to cut. Now, granted, you don't need to cut the wire to put the Anderson power poles. You might just not take this out in the field, and then you just put it in your a power supply, right? And you can put it directly to the power supply. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that because the power supply also has an Anderson power pole, which is pretty neat. As you can see, the the fuse is already in here. That's really nice of Yesu to put them in there. Twenty five amps. Uh, I'm not going to make this any shorter. I thought I was, but maybe that might be. Too much to do. We'll see because this, this is a lot of wire to carry and say in your backpack. All right, so I won't need these anymore, and I won't need this because I already did the power power pole Anderson power poles. Um, okay, you're going to need a battery, of course. Uh, this one is a um, bio uh, NO power uh, battery, lithium ion phosphate battery. 12 volts, 12 amp hours. Apparently this radio does uh, take a lot of uh, amps or wattage. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on, we're gonna find out. Let's see what's going on with that. Okay, and again, this is more of a setup. The cool thing about this radio, it comes with a quick manual that you can read a little bit on how to set it up, how to turn it on. Of course, you have your manual, right? That tells you more information about your radio if you don't feel comfortable putting it together yet. So um, you have your microphone. Uh, microphone plugs in a certain way. <clears throat> you gotta be really careful with these little, uh, it looks like a telephone jack and I can't remember what these are. Um, these are like RJ45s, right? Uh, <laughs> They look like uh, the jacks from the internet. Um, all right, so these will go, this one goes with the clip down. That snaps in very nicely. Then there's a, there's a lip over here that you can see that goes in there. So you should make sure it goes in there. Um, but that's gonna come out. <laughs> Because, <clears throat> so what you need is you need to plug this in here. Now, before we do that though, there is a little switch over here if you want to listen to the speakers or to the headphones right here. So what I'm going to do, I might as well get this pencil here. I'm going to want speakers. There we go. The speakers, not the, um, not the um, headphones. Okay, um, and I did find out if you watch my previous video, yes, this is where you would put your headphones. Okay, so here you plug it in really nicely. Make sure this cable is on that lip right there. Then here you can put this 
on the, oh, I can't remember now, let's see, on the left, right? I believe it's on the left, let me see, yes. And this comes out, okay. And you have to align the arrows and then move to the right. Believe it or not, that's way easier than the 857. For whatever reason, it's easier. Okay, so that's cool. That's done. And then uh, you can connect this piece to the radio. And let's see, it does have a certain orientation. You have to sort of figure it out. Let's see, hold on here. Let's use my, ah, okay. So you can see there is uh, some type of, um, well, there's a clip on the top. And there you go. And I'm curious, because these things are sometimes really hard to get off. You press down, most likely. Let's see, hold on here. You press down, eh, maybe not, let's see. Yeah, that's tight. Oh, let's see. Let's try this. Don't have the fingernails. Yeah, that's pretty tight to press. But um, there you go. All right. All right. So let's make sure we have all the extras out of the way. Okay, we don't want any papers to get in the way of any of the vents. Okay, and this cable does seem to be a lot. We'll figure that out. Maybe we'll cut that. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Here's the battery. And. What I'm gonna do, I got a watt meter right here. This is a power rack uh, watt meter. Some of these things you'll find on the description below. Uh, I always, you know, there's always two sides here. There's the, the source and the load. The source is the power source, but it has these like little like um, clip here for, or pins here. Or something I don't remember um, connect to the battery on one side you can see it says zero oh, well, it's, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see but hopefully you can see it there it says uh, zero amps because it's not drawing anything and then we're gonna plug it in here these should align if they don't align then you have a problem Okay, I heard a little click somewhere. Not sure why. I'm gonna peel this off first time. Then, of course, you're gonna to have to put the antenna and you might have to ground it. If you're at home, most likely it's a good idea to ground it. If you're in the field, it's probably a good idea to ground it. Um, so far, I haven't ground my radios, um, but it's, it's a good practice. Um, that is something that you're going to have to uh, check out. You might need a rod outside to connect it, to ground it nicely. The grounding in this case won't be for the antenna. Um, it's going to be more for the electrical, so you won't get shocked. Uh, here, of course, is the antenna. And you should put the antenna on, and it's going to be HF antenna. All right, and then... Let's uh, let's press the button. So you can see power buttons right here. So you can see how it looks. Pretty neat, right? It makes a it makes a clicking sound. Okay. And here it's taking up one amp. I know it's hard to see right there. One amp. 0.1 watt hour at the moment but it's one amp it's drawing one amp it's at 13 volts right 
you can multiply those two numbers to give you the wattage and it's watts right here 13.8 watts at the to take in a lot of power okay don't recommend you pressing this button without the antenna but that gives you an idea of how to set it up um, this might be a bit of a challenge uh, doing the power uh, the Anderson power poles takes a little while to figure that out do you need this uh, watt meter no you don't need it I mean you can turn this off because these are interchangeable right here's the radio this is the battery and the colors match goes very nice in there and you can turn it on again so you don't need it it's always nice to have one anyway to find how much power the battery has this battery weighs almost as much as the radio something to consider um, this was that 12 amp hour so I'm gonna make another video talk a little bit about the radio um, looks pretty solid I mean compared to my 857 definitely very similar um, button configuration is a little bit different hopefully that helps you get it ready to go on the field uh, read the manual, uh, ask me questions, or ask questions to our small little community that we're trying to build over here on this channel. And um, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you uh, think that this video was helpful for you. And uh, this is Frank, Kilo November 6, Bravo Sierra Tango. All right, bye-bye.